What's going on guys, it's your boy Hammer here. What I did earlier today on my social media, if you're not following me on social media, I'm Alexander Hammerstone on Facebook, at Alex Hammerstone on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I posted up, post your questions. I'm doing a Q&A today. I'm gonna be doing Q&A while I do my cardio. Hopefully, that kind of takes my mind off it because dog, your boy Hammer ain't like doing cardio. I get bored, I start looking at that timer, I start wanting to hop my ass off there. But it's time to get to business. So let's get in there. I'm gonna do my thing and I'm gonna hit some of your questions. So thank you guys for submitting. If you wanna drop new questions in the comments below, I'll be doing this. Maybe I'll try to make this a once a week thing. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'll see you in the say I'm a couple seconds into this cardio and I already want to step off hopefully uh, answering some of these questions gets my mind off it all right so first up for the Hammerstone cardio Q&A that's cardio with a Q because you know alliterations why not but somebody asked me what were my workouts like leading up to my bodybuilding contest from this past Saturday and well it's simple, they're basically the same as my workouts year round. Now see, a lot of people like to change it up. They think they have to do higher reps or all these crazy things coming up to a contest. But the thing is, whatever got you to the dance, keep doing it. If you build muscle by lifting heavy weights and really intense and then you completely change things up when you start dieting, there's a chance, especially if you go lighter, you're just gonna start burning off muscle. You wanna keep your workouts heavy, you wanna keep them intense, you don't wanna drop the weight. Only thing that really changed for me is I started implementing a little bit more cardio and my diet trains changed pretty drastically in the sense that I dropped my macronutrients a lot. Somebody asked me, they said they had weak shoulders. Weak shoulders, they wanna know what the best exercises are for shoulders. Well, here's the thing a lot of people don't realize. Shoulders are a lot of slow twitch muscle fiber. What that means is they're gonna to respond to a lot of volume and light weight. A lot of reps, a lot of drop sets, a lot of tension. You don't really need a lot, of, everyone wants to grab really heavy dumbbells or really heavy barbells and do these uh, heavy shoulder presses. And although those definitely have their place, it's definitely best to do a lot of side laterals and upright rows with lighter weight, maybe in the eight to 14 rep range. I got another question here. Somebody wrote in, they said that they've been doing about six whole eggs for breakfast, but somebody told them that that's bad for them and they need to start doing egg whites mixed with whole eggs. What's my opinion? Well, if you know me, you know I'm big on if it fits your macros. So the thing is, eggs aren't bad. Egg whites aren't necessarily better. Egg whites are fat free. Well, whole eggs are full of about 4.5 grams of fat each. So, if you like to do your fats in the morning and you have that allowance in your daily fat intake, then go for it. Personally, my breakfast is usually around my workout, so that means I like to eat more carbs and fats. So if I do breakfast, I'm usually doing egg whites. But later in the day, around dinner, I'm doing a lot of fat fatty meats, whole eggs, bacon, olive oil, a lot of peanut butter. Your boy Hammer loves his peanut butter. So there it is. Basically, if it fits into your macros. If, uh, if you're confused about macros, currently I'm offering diet plans. You could write in, send me a message. We could get you going. We could get you set up with something that works for you. You could eat whole eggs every single day or you could eat egg whites. I'm gonna, I got two questions that are very similar. One of them was tips for somebody who wants to start working out. Another one was any tips for an aspiring pro wrestler. And the reason I'm gonna group these together is because I'm gonna give basically the same answer. Just start. Everybody is waiting for everything to be perfect before they start. Situation is never gonna seem perfect. You're always gonna feel a little bit clueless getting started. You're gonna be nervous. You're gonna feel embarrassed. You're gonna feel scared. You don't wanna make a fool of yourself. You don't wanna fail. But the thing is, 
Just get in there and start. Go to the gym, start. It's always great to find a personal trainer to help you get started, or at the very least, do some research on your own. But the first thing you gotta do, get your ass in there. Get to business. Same thing if you wanna be a wrestler. Obviously, start dieting right, start training in the gym, but find a school, don't hesitate. Don't wait for everything to seem perfect. Just go in and do it on pre-workouts. Do they work? Yes, they work. Are they necessary? No. For someone like me, I've been training so long and I've used pre-workouts so much that I'm pretty reliant on them. That's kind of a bad thing, but basically, there's tons of different types of pre-workouts. Most people love the stimulant factor, basically just caffeine. So if that means you just wanna drink coffee before you work out, then go for it. There's a lot of ingredients in pre-workouts that some people don't like the way they react to them. Basically, yes, they work. They're gonna help with blood flow. They're gonna help with performance in the gym, ATP production, endurance, you know, and mostly just energy overall. But are they necessary? No. Do I use them? Hell yeah. Somebody asked, why did I come back to YouTube? Back. Well, I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I have a lot to offer. You know, in the last eight years, I've kept in the fitness industry. I've kept learning. I've kept researching. Every week I'm listening to podcasts, reading studies, all these things, you know, because I want to know everything there is to know. I've been a personal trainer this entire time. And in addition to that, I competed in bodybuilding. I became a pro wrestler. I've done all these things. I feel garnered me even more knowledge and even more ability to help you guys. And I just want to put what I know out there, pretty much see if it helps anybody. See if it does anything for anybody. So, and I want to have some fun. I want to, want to interact with more people. I want to get myself out there. I want to know, I want to get feedback. I want to hear from you guys. How tall am I? Has anyone ever told me I look like Triple H? Well, if you ask me at a wrestling show how tall I am, I'm gonna build myself at 6'3". That's the best answer you're gonna get from me. And has anyone told me I look like Triple H? All the time. That's a huge compliment. I loved Triple H growing up. For those outside the wrestling world, they might not know who he is, but he's a long haired jack guy like myself. I gotta say, I think I'm a little bit more handsome. Maybe it's just a long blonde hair, but pretty much if I go outside, Someone's gonna tell me I look like somebody. Do you ever lose motivation from the outside? It looks like I don't. How do I deal with these things? Yada yada. This is a great question because I feel like this is a thing that a lot of people struggle with because of social media. It's not cool to tell people that you're struggling and that your life sucks and that you're sad. It's cool to act like everything's great all the time and that everything's just awesome, but that's not real. So, if you notice, I'm starting to get out of breath. This is on interval training, it's, it's tough. But yes, I struggle all the time. I've had my ups and my downs, and you just have to set your mind on what you wanna achieve. I believe heavily in the law of attraction. When those negative thoughts start coming, declare them weak. Flush them out as quick as possible and start thinking about positive thoughts. Start thinking about what you're grateful for and focus on your end goal of what you want to achieve. Feel thankful that you're going to achieve it. And you're gonna find the means to get there. When things get tough, I've always had a focus that pulls me out. The gym is a huge one. I've been straight up depressed. Like, depressed, not want to get out of bed, not want to do anything. But I, I, out of habit, you build these habits and they kind of run your life, right? My habit to go to the gym. Got out, go to the gym, and that was always a positive aspect of my life. And honestly, it helped pull me out of depression a couple times. So have your, you know, have your focus. Have, have good things in your life. Surround yourself with good people. Cut out the negative. Focus on the positive. Somebody asked, what kind of carbs do I like to eat? Well, going back to what I said earlier, I'm an infinite fit sure macros guy. I made a video the other day about my breakfast. And it had like oatmeal, banana, blueberries, and a shake. The part I didn't show you is that because I'm in a weight gaining phase right now, I also had a Pop-Tart and a muffin. 
and some people, oh wait, that's bad, that's not workout food. Now, it's, I'm not saying everyone should go out there and eat all their carbs from Pop-Tarts and candy, but I'm saying we're doing two hours of weight today, an hour of cardio, plus wrestling like myself, and you need to eat 500 grams of carbs a day just to maintain or gain a little bit of weight, it's okay to have a Pop-Tart. But my favorite carb sources are white or jasmine rice. I eat a ton of rice. Probably even more so rice cakes. I eat rice cakes like crazy. I eat like seven rice cakes at a time. Chocolate ones are the best. White cheddar are probably my second favorite right now. And then I'll get plain ones and just top them with some sugar-free uh, syrup, chocolate syrup or jelly or something like that. Basically, find what works for you. Find. It's not that there's good carbs and bad carbs. Obviously you don't want to be eating ding-dongs and Twinkies all the time, but for me, I time most of my carbs around my workout just because I feel energy. It doesn't change my, doesn't change my body composition, but I feel better for my workouts, and that's what's important to me is my performance. So you gotta kind of have to experience, experiment. See what works for you. Have I over motorboated a butt? Short answer, yes. Long answer, to be continued. What's my favorite cheat meal? Well, I'm very fond of pizza, but nothing beats a good burger, sweet potato fries, and a good beer. My favorite beer is probably Kilt Lifter. I think it pairs great with a burger. I don't drink hardly ever, but when I do, I like to enjoy it. That being said, a lot of people don't realize, like I said, going back to if it fits your macros, during my contest prep, I still had cookies. Granted, they were Lenny and Larry's. I still had ice cream. I still had burgers on a regular basis. You know, if I really, if I really craved a certain thing, what I would do is at the beginning of the day, I would punch that into my macro calculator. I use my fitness pal. I'd punch that in for my dinner, whenever I wanted to have it, so I knew what I had left to work with for the rest of the day. Now, the flip side to that is if you're on really restricted calories, you know, and you enter, I wanna eat half of a DiGiorno pizza, well, that might already go over your carbs or already go over your fat. You can't necessarily fit anything, but when you really start to understand flexible dieting and how to use it, not abuse it, you can, you'll be surprised what you get to eat. So now let's go to the final question. What is the PSI of your glute clench flex? 736. There's actually a machine that you can measure this if you go to the right chiropractor. No, I'm just kidding. That was my buddy Matt Furry, who I used to work with several years ago, being a smart ass on Instagram. But I love you, Matt. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the question. Anyway. I'm gonna wrap it up. We're already going on 15 minutes of just questions here. So this is a pretty long video. I still have 45 minutes of cardio. I'm not excited, but thanks for thanks for taking my mind off it for the first 15 minutes, guys. If you want to do uh, Q&A questions for the next video, feel free to send them to me. Feel free to comment below. Please like and subscribe and share any of these videos. Go back and watch some wrestling matches if that's your thing. Otherwise, stay tuned for more content. Thanks guys. Your boy Hammer is out. I gotta get to business and I gotta go eat a lot of food after this. Can't wait. Have fun guys.